Okay, hey everybody. Now, as part of a new idea which I've had, um, I'm going to be taking a look at model railway controllers, um, obviously DCC controllers in particular, um, DCC being digital command control. So there's only going to be a few of these videos, perhaps two or three, um, but they're going to be looking at the controllers which I currently have, um, and ones obviously which I will get so that at least I can provide you with some information about each one. Right, so let's kick off the first video then. At the first controller that we are taking a look at is the Batman 36500 EZ Command Digital Command Train Control Centre. Now, I was going to review this when I first had it, but then other reviews and other videos kept getting in the way, so I've only just got round to reviewing it. Um, so I have had the box open, looked at it, played with it, you name it, I've done it. So let's just have a close look at the front. Obviously we can see it is for DCC and it is by Batman. Um, it has eight function buttons for control of decoder features, built-in control for existing analogue locomotives, which I'll show you in a minute, 28 speed steps for smooth operation, simple on-track programming, separate wall transformer, electronic momentum, plug-in wiring, um, it meets the NMRA standard DCC um, rules and regulations I think it is, and an S -book, the X bus socket for further expansion. So let's have a look at it then. So obviously as we can see on the side it says 36500 EZ Command Digital Train Control System which it says on the front anyway. So let's get this controller open then. Now the first thing that you get is a user manual. It's not obviously scrunched up like this, that's just me after I've put it back in the box. But this tells you everything you need to know about the EZ command system. So let's have a look at it. Obviously the first page that we come to tells you about the controller in detail and what, what each button does. Um, at first it took me a while to get used to this controller as I was pressing the buttons it said and I was thinking why isn't it working? But then I sort of had to reread through it and got it all working eventually. Um, it's just that I've never had an EZ command controller before so it was new to me. But I'm not obviously going to go through the entire instruction manual, I'm just going to show you what it is. Um, obviously you've got things like programming, direction of running, um, digital and analogue, how to run multiple trains, uh, fault finding and programming a train to an address button. So that's the instructions. So let's have a look at what's in this very nice box. Now, my, I have to mention first that my mate Will, aka IC82, Intercity82, has this particular controller. So there's not only me who's reviewing it, um, obviously there's other people as well. But if you take a look at Will's channel, you'll find this controller on there. Um, I think he had his in a set by Batman, uh, a DCC set. It featured a class 25. So if you look on his channel, it'll be there and you'll see it in operation, which I will be showing in a later video, but not just yet. So the first thing that we have here are the leads. So let's have a look at, that's the plug, let's have a look at all these leads. So this is one of the first leads. Um, I think this is the X bus, the X bus socket um, that allows you to use another Batman controller to control one additional train. Um, I haven't opened it as you can see and um, we're not planning on getting an additional controller just for one extra train and um, so we've left that in the packet. Now the next packet we come to um, I have had to use and um, this is the normal one that you get in the Batman box. Um, not too sure what this is. I think it powers the tracks somehow. 
but we've never really used that one. So the next one you can see here is the one which I have been using. Um, what we've done, because this controller is actually for my Engage layout, um, because it's lightweight and portable and it's easy to carry around and store you see. Um, so we've cut the wires off there and there and then these connect to two wires on the track and this controller then powers the layout. Um, obviously if you've been watching my Engage layout updates you will have seen how I've done this. But this plugs into the back of the controller and then these wires go to the wires on the layout and it goes, it works. So that's those wires. Right, the next thing which we have here, this is our wall controller. Um, it's quite heavy. Um, but this part here also plugs into the back of your controller um, which then causes the red light LED on the controller to come on. So that's your power. Right, the next thing are these little cards. Now you may be wondering what are these for? Now these are actually for writing on which is very clever of Batman really because it allows you on the controller, it's got numbers down the side, um, 1 to 5 there, and then 6 to 9 there. Now this one here, number 10, this isn't a DCC control, this is an analogue locomotive operation. So any analogue locomotive you wish to run using this controller, you just press 10 on the controller and it will work it before you convert it to DCC to make sure that it is still working. Um, I've had absolutely loads of problems when I've been doing this so running it as analogue first and then carefully converting it to DCC is quite tricky. But these are really handy and you'll see why in a minute. So here's the controller. So I think we've got some holes on the back. No we haven't. Right so let's take this piece of plastic off here first and we'll take this off as well and it's not wanting to come out at all ah, no, there we go, it's out now obviously this piece of plastic here was surrounding it but it just got it stuck in the box for some reason so here it is, the EZ Command Control Centre now it is really lightweight that is what I've been saying before It's really portable as well, you can carry it around with you. So it's ideal for me and my Engage layout project. So when I'm on holiday or say I've gone to a friend's house and taken the layout with me to show them, I can take this controller, plug it in and show them it working. And obviously as you can see here, I've already programmed two locomotives, both being my Engage ones. Um, one's my fast line class 66 by Daypol and the other is the Freightliner Class 66 also by Daypal. So let's take a look at it. Now the first thing is the smoothness of this controller. This is a really nice smooth controller and you can control it really slowly so that your loco just doesn't go off at any speed it feels like. You can actually control it and the movement is really really nice in this. As you can see. Now this here is your emergency stop button and um, you also have to use it for programming but obviously when I'm doing the video on that I'll show you in more detail. So that's your stop button. These two here are your directional buttons. Now if you press that button there that controls the functions and then obviously you choose your functions if it's DCC sound it'd be one pre 3, all of them really, pre except 10. So as you can see, we've got LEDs down the side of here. So when you press these buttons, these LEDs will light up and correspond to which loco you've selected. Now as you can see here, 10 is also a headlight, but this is for DCC, so you'd press function 10. And I think that's your Directional, yes it is. That's your directional lighting. So then to knock it off again you press function 
10 and the lighting goes out but in the other video you will see this in operation but it is really well worth the money and it is such a nice controller so if we have a look at the back now we can see this is where your power lead goes from oh no it's not that sorry that's from your DC controller this one is your power where your transformer goes to um, obviously this one is for your track which is the red wire I showed you just and that plugs into there now this one an I slash O port I'm guessing this is some computerized thing um, I'm not even too sure what it is so I can't really mention that to you but as you can see it is a very good controller and I highly recommend it to anybody um, either for Engage or Double O or even HO because it's just such a good controller and it's ideal for say if you've got perhaps not got a layout and you've just got some track in your room um, or you're setting up a test track in your room just to test the loco like in a review video then this controller is the perfect controller for that job but that's it basically, the EZ Command Control Center by Batman.